And just like that, after having to deal with so many other freaking technical difficulties, we are here once again. Yay! <laughs> oh, that was fun. Hey there, people of the internet world! It's Kibatu of Joy Josh Gamers, charged with joy and ready to play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Today is an interesting one, because it is only one pack today, as, as we all know, and it is the Hidden Arsenal pack. But straight afterwards, we will be also opening the, I believe, the Yusei pack number three yeah you say pack number three yeah so that's going to be an interesting one to look at after this hidden arsenal one because this hard this hidden arsenal one is going to be i wouldn't say groundbreaking but it's definitely going to make interesting decisions for me depending on what i draw and that's it's really going to matter at this point because it depends on what i draw here that i'm going to have to make some decisions with what i trade in and what i'm going to make the decks with and all that fun stuff. But, uh, yeah, with that said, let's see what Cal is up to in his side of this thing. Mar? Mar? Hello. Oh, there you are. Yeah, no, I hadn't quite gotten started on stuff i'm on stream and i've got the everything set there but uh ah. i hadn't quite gotten to the old uh talking part yet i suppose if you want to put it that way um the boring part yes oh i don't know about that <laughs> <laughs> no i wouldn't say that it's the driving point that gets people to join us and i watch have fun yeah that's the idea anyway yeah okay uh hidden arsenal free huh that's the third time we're doing this now <laughs> yeah the final set of 2010 before you say pack number three as well but yes yes which uh i may have made a mistake in taking a fet veil off <laughs> with that because i didn't realize that the fet veil is actually a rare in his third pack ah. um whoops <laughs> hmm. Well, the more you know. Yeah, that was a mistake. I should have taken Solemn Warning as well, but uh, I didn't know, and I didn't look it up properly beforehand. I know Vet Veil has had like a ton of reprints, but I didn't think it was that soon and that low rarity. So, <laughs> oops. But whatever, it's fine. Well, now you're able to have traded for a rare. <laughs> Not yeah, really, but... <laughs> that's totally the way yeah. I'm going. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's it's not really a big deal. I mean, I've got Vela for now, which is good. I, you know, it's a good card now. Yeah. But it's just a bit of a shame that it's uh, it comes in so quickly as the next uh, the next thing. It's such a low rarity too. I think I did that with Stardust as well because that was a super rare in his first pack, and I just took it straight away after Duel's Genesis was so bad for me. But um, I don't mind that one quite so much because I ended up being able to take, I think it was Debris Dragon that I took out of there. It was either Debris or like the Junk Synchron, I forget which one, but it was one that I did use a decent bit uh -huh. for, for a while. So I don't mind that one quite so much. And this was before Hidden Arsenal, so Super Rares were a bit harder to come by. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so that one was fine, but Vale is a bit of a mess up here, I think. Um, that's okay. You don't know all of these things beforehand, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, sets you've never seen before. So, yeah, <laughs> it's all good. All right. So briefly looking over the Hidden Arsenal stuff here, it looks like there's a lot more Fabled stuff. There's like half a dozen of them in here, plus a few more like Synchros and stuff. That's kind of fun. Uh, Jurax gets some stuff in here, Naturias get quite a lot of stuff in here. There's a new Gen X, there's R Gen X instead of regular, which uh, Recycle Gen X, I think, might be what they go for with that. I don't know. Um, that's what I would call them anyway. Uh, probably still terrible, but some of them look like they might be okay. Uh, Ice Barrier, woo. Um, I think, actually, no. On on a serious note with it, like one of the only other good Ice Barriers I think is in here, if you wanted to go back to that Wetlands deck, Dark of the Ice Barrier comes in here, and that's a level 2 Aqua that the, is Aqua also a tuner, tuner, actually. Yeah, yeah. so he's actually kind of cool. Um, yeah, if the only face-ups you control yeah. level 2 or lower, it can hit directly. 
This is what I was waiting for for the Wetlands deck, but I don't know if I'm actually going to build that now that this, the, the cat's been out in the bag with it already. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Um, yo, Red Deck, how's it going? Uh, yeah, there's some more the tuna stuff. The the next Ice Barrier Synchro in here is kind of neat, I suppose. Um, Dragoonities come in here proper. I got one of the Synchros in the last set, but none none of the cards were Dragoonities to go with it. I think they get the Structured Deck really soon as well, like maybe the next set or something. Um, they actually have their Structure. And uh, yeah, they're, they're interesting. It's like they work on Wing Beast non-tuners and then Dragon Tuners. That's what they need for their Synchros as well, but the Dragon Tuners can be like equipped to the Wing Beast cards and gain effects that way it's it's kind of funky mm. i don't know if there's enough good ones in here to actually like work with it but uh this isn't the last time they're gonna get support and hidden arsenal 4 is only a couple of sets after this so who knows maybe we'll be able to use them at that point yeah maybe um, we'll have to wait and see and find out yep and then Ally of Justice and Worms. Worm Zero is in here. The only thing that's notable for is because that's uh, that's the first thing I thought of when uh, the new in Pokemon Eternatus came in, like with its fully like Eternamax form or whatever the final thing of it is. Like this is the first thing I thought of for it. So this is what I made Tilt call it when he uh, when he gave me his one out of his game. So I don't know. It's it's neat. It's just the worms are so bad that you can't really make use of it that well. But it is a cool card. You could somehow get it to work but yeah that's pretty much it i just want to to just briefly look through the stuff we're going oh yeah there's some fun fun looking stuff in here we'll yeah. see what we can pull though uh i have one thing in mind i want to play today if i get the right cards off it just for something different but otherwise i don't know we'll see yeah i know there's one or two that i've been looking at that like, hmm, that actually could be useful in helping me get build these decks i'm thinking of but what does that see? So ten packs or no? This is a full twenty-four. This is a regular sixty-card set that we do with this here. Ah. The only reason Hidden Arsenal One was fewer is because that set had literally half the cards of this. Uh -huh. From here on out, I think they're all like sixty-plus card sets. So it's just a regular box opening at this point. Mm. So mm. all right, yeah, all right. Are we good to go then? I guess we're good to go. All right. And uh, good luck, man. Hopefully you pull what you good. want out of this yourself. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. Yep. All right. Good luck and good duel. Yeah. As always. <clears throat> so 24 packs then. All right. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to be hoping for a whole lot in this set. Like, I don't know. I haven't really took a look at it good enough to know, like, what exactly I'm going to be looking for. But I know there's going to be some cards that are going to help me out in this future. So I I know I need to be ready for, you know, to make decks with these cards. But we are opening 24 packs of Hidden Arsenal 3. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's something about this white barrier down here that I can't just do that. Hmm. Well, we got our Dragoon D1, and it's more fabled. This was a set level 7 nice barrier monster. But he's definitely not bad for an ice barrier. Well, yeah, two class cards in hand. If you have a monster, you control gain corner attack. Hmm. It's like one of one one wing beast type monster. Yeah, wing beast monsters. The Dragoonity monsters are gonna be interesting to help out in the Dragoon in the wing beast expect. Like, for sure. I know the Nichiria monsters are going to be pretty good as well, actually. The Nichiria monsters in this one will actually help a lot with the other Nichiria monsters. Once per turn, you can set one face up monster your opponent controls with zero defense and take control of it until the end phase. Ooh. Need to play like special summon light monsters. I mean, that's going to be an alright one for dark cards. Uh. 
Send two cards of said fable soul kiss when you're handed a graveyard. Special summon this card from the graveyard. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good one to have with, like, uh, discards. Yeah, again, with that uh, crossover of, uh, what's that one? Uh, Dark World and, yeah, Dark World and Fabled. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's two or more cards in your hand than you do. You can reveal one fifth monster to your hand and tribute this card. It's just got so two spell track cards your opponent controls. Hmm. I don't know much to care for that one. Well, there's the fusion. Yep, two more reptile worm monsters. For two, da, 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 da. for six, what turn you draw a card? Hmm. So it needs at least two reptile worm monsters, but. Get, really get its effect, you need six. I guess in the sense of you can use future fusion. I mean, I guess that works. Oh, hey, Samurai the Ice Barrier. Does he work with the six Samurai? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, excuse me. Uh, let's see. Fable Ms. Toji. That's actually not a bad one there for Fable Monsters. Not a fusion for Dinosaur. Man, if I had enough Jirok Monsters, maybe I could try running that one, but no, I don't. I don't know. There's not enough Jirok Monsters to really use that kind of thing. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 star. If your opponent controls the face of a light monster. Only if they're really playing light monsters, which I don't think Cal is really strict on playing in this set. They carry a Parkion. Earth Tuner and Non Tuner Earth. Both Earths. Again, level 6. Uh, when a trap card is activated, banish two cards from your hand in your graveyard to get the activation and you destroy it. Oh, so this is the trap equivalent. Oh. Yeah, that's going to be a good one for the future. Yeah, I'm going to be looking forward to using that one, actually. Uh, let's see. Fabled Ultra. Hmm. Yeah, Fable Monsters are going to be alright, too. I'm going to try and use the Fable Monsters. Gungeoneer, discard up to two cards to the graveyard, just target the same number of cards your opponent controls. Yeah, that's just, uh, Brionic, by level 7. But Brionic is a bit better, I think. Like, I think Brionic is actually a bit better than that one, actually. Psycho Reaper. I think Psycho Reaper was one I was wanting in this Ally Justice pack. No, it's just Light Monsters that vanish, yeah. So this one is a Dragon Tuner and a Non Wing Beast Tuner. One only Wing Beast type monster in the graveyard has going to get the attack of the monster until the end phase. Okay, that's a pretty strong one right there, but it needs a Dragon Tuner and a Non Tuner Wing Beast monster. Which, I do have both of those, so that's that actually will be a really good one to use. This card attacks or is attacked during damage calculation, either player's turn. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard once per battle. This card gets 600 attack during the damage calculation only. 
So for every card in my hand, I can discard for once per turn. Yeah. Is it? Oh no, it's only when it's attacked or is it or attacks. Hmm. I was about to say, the Fable cards sound like they would really be good with something like, uh... Oh, what's the word? Um... Infernity Monsters. But Infernity relies on no cards in the hand in the first place. These at least rely on certain cards in the hand and certain cards in the graveyard. Not just no cards in the hand at all. So when this card is normal summon, target one level three or lower dragon, dark green team monster in your graveyard. Put that target to this card. Reach interior monster in the graveyard. Ooh. Okay, the interior dragonfly. I think I would like a couple more of those. If I want to make a good the uh, Nechuria deck. I will need a couple more of those, then. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, I'm not looking at all of them, because all of them, and a lot of them I don't really care for. <clears throat> not yet, anyway. The light monsters and the graveyard draw a card. If the card's low four lower dark monster, reveal that card and special summon it. Ooh. That's one way to get some dark monsters out there. Okay, that's a pretty poor excuse of a card right there. Fable tuner and one non tuner. If you have one or less cards in your hand, you can draw until you have two cards in your hand. So, draw options. <laughs> that is another dragonfly. This card is sent from the field of the graveyard and spells some 1 4 Lord Nigeria monster for your attack and face attack. I guess that means if it's face down as well. I would imagine so. Uh, Nechoria. Horn Needle? Okay, Horn Needle. Okay. I was a little worried about reading that out loud. I was like, what? <laughs> so, your opponent's special summons a monster. You contribute one, contribute one face up material monster. You control accept this one to destroy a special monster. Hmm. Yeah, we already seen Fruit Fly. Uh. Well, I'm getting a lot of the synchros out of this, at least. Ooh, and a chair of sunflower. These are all earth monsters, too. So these actually do work with the Nechiria monsters. I mean, it makes sense, Nechiria. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Two nature of Brachion. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah, that one's looking pretty neat. It's a dinosaur tuner, actually, too. Yeah, Gen X Tuner. Non Tuner Wind type. Four, six, eight. Hmm. Hmm. I think the Gen X monsters are actually starting to make a make a interesting comeback in this pack. Ooh, there's a Dragon Dragonity, Dragonity. That's the monster we're looking for. <laughs> Dragonity. <clears throat> I 
It was effective when the Nigerian monster you control was activated during this turn, especially some of this card. Ooh. Okay, that's actually a really good uh, Nigeria monster there. Two SP monsters graveyard. Return this like a monster to deck and each player draws a card. Uh huh. Don't like the idea it gives the opponent that draw option. Okay, once per turn, while this card is equipped to a monster, you can some of this equipped card. Ah, that's where the equipped card, equipped point comes in for that one. Yeah, the trigger 2 that was one I didn't look at. It's better attack until the end phase. For a 2 turn, it's not bad. Alright, uh, after draft. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Level ten to uh, synchro. It only needs one fable tuner and one non tuner. That's nuts, actually. When this card on the field is destroyed, it's sent to the graveyard. Select up to three fable monsters in your graveyard. Add them to your hand. Huh. So a lot of the fabled monsters, quote unquote, are pretty much getting recycled in this set. Oh, stretch. Oh. That's great. <clears throat> oh. You need that stretch there. <laughs> Alright, everything doing book up here. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, let's see here. So, this was the. Beast deck before. Yeah, this is the beast deck I had before. So, I don't know if the cherry must. No, the cherry were plants. They're not beasts. So, they wouldn't help this deck out. Alright, um, in the meantime, what about, um, Darkness deck? This has one of the rest of my favorite monsters here. Alright, so. So let's see here. Yeah, we got a couple of fabled synchros, so the fabled monsters do have a way have a way to get through this here. Uh Yep. Mm. Ah, excuse me. <clears throat> Yeah, a bunch of worms. I do want to try and make my Nacheria deck. I do want to at least try it, but it's gonna be a tough one to make with these kind of these kind of cards here. Uh, let's see here. Two or less cards in your hand. Fatal monster. You can control a corner attack, which is mad at this point. If one has two more cards in their hands than you do, you reveal one fatal monster in your hand and tribute this face of card to select like two spell cards your opponent controls and destroy them. Hmm. I mean, I guess I see ways around that. That's still kind of annoying, though. And if cards in your graveyard, send two cards that sets Fabled Sulcus from your hand to the graveyard, especially some of this card from the graveyard. This one is a pretty good favorite card. This is a good favorite card. I only have the one of them, too. So that sucks. Oh, well. Raging here is a synchro. Yep. This is such a summon a monster. I have one of those too. Um, if you see this card from the hand of the graveyard, besides one fa face that fail on to control, sick monster is three as a tuna monster. Okay, so that's how you get more tuna monsters out there in the first place. That's the Synchro. Alright, so I'm actually gonna make this as its own deck here, so... So let's get rid of all Dark World monsters. Get 
little Dark World cards here. No Dark Monster, so... Alright, so I do need the Trap Holes. And I need a Gate Key. Then Dark Call as well. Yeah, I think it's a good time to load there. <laughs> um, do you have a coffin? Do I need to? Do I need to do that? I don't think so, because a lot of these are activated by discarding the by themselves. I don't need the act an actual outside source to discard them in the first place. Yeah, I think that's the case here in, a, in this set, and that. I already have ways to discard, so... So let's see here. So when a failed monster is sent from the hand to your graveyard, you can tribute this card and select that monster, switch to somebody from the graveyard. So... Yeah, this is a hard one to hear to do, because you have to have two cards or less in the hand, and you have to have it on the field. I mean, that makes it by itself a 1900 attack monster, which is not bad. So let me see here. Let me look up all my favorite monsters here. Yeah, I only have two favorites of the Grim Row. <laughs> that is a cute pit horsey. <laughs> and all the fabled, not fabled, but the fabled. So let's see here. Uh, fabled Soul Kiss. I think I only have one of those. Yep. So, just the one. I don't. Like, I know I don't have Fable Raven. Fable Raven. Uh, right, again, whatever. Uh, I have three of those. So, ah, itch. And I guess uh, Life Transit can go. I'll just add three of him. And I guess a Bryonic to add the Leviathan. Pretty sure I only have one of them. Yep. Okay. So let's see. Favorite Ultra, I only have one. But he's a tuner, so he's not bad. Uh, Fable Mistoji is discard itself to make the monster on the field a tuner. Which is a good thing if I want to get something like. Leviathan out with some level fours and level twos and level threes and such. Discard one favorite monster. So okay, this is another thing as well. A lot of these are send and discard, and that's a thing as well. They are some of them are specifically saying discard and send. So there's a bit of a clash of wording in these here. Because this one says, when the Fabled Monster is sent from your hand to the graveyard, not discarded. So, I can technically send this guy to the graveyard, and then use uh, Diff to tribute him and special summon Solkus. He's a level 7 too, so he's actually able to help summon Leviathan or something like that. Yeah, we just need a level 4 tuner after that. 
a level 4 Fabled Tuner, but level 4 Tuner nonetheless. Hmm. Oh, okay, so let me see here. I think all the Fable Monsters are light, yes. So it would not do any good to do things that way. Yeah, Dark Deal I can get rid of. Uh, Oppression I can get rid of. TT I'll put in here. So Chaos Sork is useless here. I mean, unless I want to put, like, Dark Monsters to, in here to add with the Fabled. Which, I mean, I guess that's possible? Hmm. Hmm. Actually, funny enough, the Ally of Justice are Dark Monsters. Take a look at some more all that justice cards here real quick. Not a bad normal monster, but that's still just a normal monster. Ally is Salvo. Uh, let's see here. Ally Salvo. The light monster and Santa Fe runners select two cards on the field and destroy them. So destroyed by a light monster. It has to be destroyed by a light. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Monster, start a monster immediately. This card, I would have to face up. Yeah, it's a pretty good ally, Justice Monster. Hmm. Hmm. Well, now I'm having more ideas here. Okay, let me try and finish off making this Fable deck here. Fable Ashbell is only one, yep. Fable Diff. Um, I'll just put in two, because I... Uh, that's a bit rough there. I don't think I need the Coffins here. Uh, let's see.
Yeah, I, I can tell the Fables are really good in this stage. There's the problem with them being a, being a bit of a mix here. Because, okay, so, let me see here. Um, Fable Lurry, when this card is discarded to the graveyard, special summon it. That's fine. But, a lot of these cards are... Okay, so this one. We can discard one card in the graveyard and select the story. Fates of Monster Punter Control. It's defense less. Yep, that's fine. Um, this one is, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. And this card, um, send, send, discard, discard. All right, it's a mix here of sending and discarding cards. Okay, so let me put this here. So, favorite Kushano, you can discard one favorite monster in the graveyard, except this one, to add this card from your graveyard to the hand. And so, if I say discarded a monster, this is sent from the hand to the graveyard, not discarded. So, there's a bit of um, a bit of a conflict of interest here with some of these cards. I mean, I drew the fabled uh, synchro, so I have to try it. But still, there's a bit of a uh, contrast here with some of these cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. I guess this would still work with Dark World. You know, summoning a Dark World archetype and that the monster thrive off effects that discard. However, unlike Dark World, all field monsters will benefit off any discard, even for cost. Even though cards like Dark World dealings can be used with Fabled monsters, it's best to keep a high monster count and use their own special effects to special summon them. Hmm. So I guess it would benefit from Dark World Lightning still then? Certain monsters, yes. Hmm. Yeah, this 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 deck probably needs Pot of Avarice. Like, no doubt, it needs Pot of Avarice. Hmm. <sighs> oh. Hmm. Beckoning light. Sense their light monsters. Oh, yeah. I was looking at that card at one point. Yeah, I remember looking at this when I was looking at my, um, freaking Light Sworn deck. Oh, uh, now I gotta think of other cards that are helping Light Monsters. Okay, I need to get close all these here. You know what would actually be freaking hilarious if he played, um... Do we see another some Light Swarm monsters?
Hmm. You get a certain one in the Grave of Fables, you can revive it. Also change this card, you control the from face up attack to face defense, and if you do, destroy the target. Hmm. Last points of personal choice. Yeah, um, let me see what I can use of this here. Wait, doesn't this... Okay, hold on. Doesn't this have an effect of sending a deck card from the deck to... Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, it's all from adding them from the graveyard to the hand, or, or so on and so forth. Raiko would be definitely be a good one to have in a deck like this. I think Wolf might be an idea to just combine with Beckoning Light, but its effect is to be from sent from the deck to the graveyard, and he's a hand uh, brick. I mean, there are ways to discard him otherwise, because like Soul Kiss here, if the this card is in your graveyard, send two cards. Two cards, just any two cards, for your hand to the graveyard, especially somebody from the graveyard. So, that's possible. I don't think any of the life spawns are tuners. You are, but I don't have you. Aaron is a good one, though. Remember, there was an instruction deck? That's what I figured. Oh, well. Uh, hmm. Well, you're a tuner, but where are you? <laughs> where are you? later on much <laughs> well fine Ooh, that is a cool looking dog look at it look at that look at that coat look at that coat all right so i think i'm actually going to add retco aaron and jane to add to this light deck I think I will add Ly Lila just to get more like ideas with the uh, that. I do need mystical space type though. I don't know why it's not in here in the first place. Eh, with three of them in here, I don't think I need that. Maybe the one chibi dragon. Uh, Argonim. Hold on. Dragoneth. Hmm. That would mean at most he would get up to 2900, but I mean 2900 is still beefy for one tribute monster. And it does do piercing. Yeah. And if anything else, I can discard him and revive him back one day. 
and we take out one to get one MST for it. Oh, you know what? This deck could really use Call of the Haunted. This deck could really use something like Call of the Haunted. Let me just let me just double check. Oops. I got two rats. Okay, just two. Um, you were saying that fable the fable monsters need a lot of monsters around it. You think that's gonna be enough? You think I need more than this? Hmm. Will compulsory? Actually, will compulsory help in this case? I mean, I guess it would help against some him normal summoning still. I mean, if it, if it, if it's proven anything, compulsory is a very useful card. Hmm. You know something? I want to see. Something here. So, this is going to be the Fabled deck. Like, for sure. This is going to be the Fabled deck for Fabled Monsters. But, if I were to say side some Ally of Justice monsters, in case if he wants to run some light monsters, or you know something else. Um, freaking Otto showed me this one. Use Ally Justice with DNA Transplant. I still need to get enough Ally Justice cards in here. An old one, but it's an idea. Yeah, definitely an old one. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you're not useful anymore. Um, hmm. Okay, so let me just double check this here. So the side deck idea I'm having here, if Fable doesn't fully work the way I want it to, Ally Justice could be... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This one? Yeah, gotta make sure, gotta make sure my numbers are right here. Fable and Dark Bowl is a combo people use. Yeah, is that right? Hmm. I can see that. When I mean, you could run Chaos Monster as you have Light and Dark. It's only Light in the main deck. Okay, so... The only Chaos Monster I have is Chaos Sorcerer. That's the only Chaos Monster I have. That actually runs that kind of thing. Well, Chaos Necromancer, but Chaos Necromancer, it's not that kind of... It runs on monsters in a graveyard. So, I mean, I guess? Eh? Eh. It's still a good card. I'm not going to deny that. It's still a good, damn good card. Mind. What does this do? So 
some no more tuner. Huh. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Well, I get to hear a song twice in a row. Haha! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna add three of these. Piercing damage. Uh, this this can't collect all pieces of light monster field one control once each. If I am going to make this a side deck for this one, I need to put in DNA, DNA transplant, first of all. At least two of those. I think I only have two of those, actually. Yeah, I only have two of those. I guess I can get rid of the mole for this one. Yeah, this is an interesting. This is going to be an interesting deck for sure if I use this one. The only other thing I was going to use, I was considering, is that I drew a bunch of Naturia monsters from this from the recent uh, Hidden Arsenal pack, including if I could find him. Fuck on, fuck on. Prakion, yes. Two of them, actually. And he's the equivalent of the uh, Nigeria Beast, which, yeah, that's a pretty good one right there. Um, let me get let me get to this one here. This one was my, was my plant deck, but I'm not running this plant deck anytime soon. So let's just empty it out. So let me just get my cherry uh, slots out here. Get rid of all these slots here. So I one Nichiria Beast, two Nichiria Barkion. Uh, I don't think I have any of these, no. Okay, so let me see here. I guess I can close all these here. Beans. <laughs> so I need to make sure I get some actual tuners out of this here. <sighs> I know I have one cliff. One cliff is definitely going to be helpful in this one. Uh, I like Dragonfly, I think. Oh yeah, Nature Dragonfly is definitely a very good one. I had three of those, right? Yeah, I made sure I had three of those. Nature <laughs> um, Beetle, 
Criteria can't be beat. My opponent almost summons a set monster, especially on this card from your hand. Well, sure. That sounds like a really good one to have here. I know I don't have a flat eggplant. <laughs> Uh, nature of Force. If you negate the activation of a card your opponent controls, you can add one level three or lower Nature Monster from your deck to hand. Oh, that's a field spell. Man, that's not a very great field spell. I mean, I guess it's a field spell for our luck. Well, for the lack of better terms, it's a it's a field spell that can help. But did you grab Glow Up Bulb? I don't think I picked up Glow Up Bulb. No. And I know I didn't pick Giga Plan. Giga Plan was one I was actually wanting to try and commit, uh, bring in this here. So. So, that didn't help any. Hello! Hit, thanks for the hit with the follow there, bud. Snail. <laughs> snail. How you doing, Snail? Uh, don't mind us for now. We're still just building decks here. Um, in just a minute, though, we will be starting up our duel with GamerCal. Um, shortly after we make this deck, though, we will be restarting the stream. So we will be just restarting it to do that. So just a heads up for that one in case, like, you see it die suddenly. I get the right key key. My balance trap holes. <laughs> Get my staples in here. <laughs> okay, so back to nature area here. Uh, nature flew fly. Hydrangea. Now, Hydrangea was one I know I had and I wanted to use. Yeah, I drew one of them, at least. Let's see. Is there a pumpkin? Yeah, I'd do. I say I need a pumpkin. Uh, nature your rock. When a trap card is activated, you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard and special summon this card from your hand. When you activate the spell, trap card. So I think that's actually not a bad one to have. Uh, Rose Whip. I think I have Rose Whip. Yeah. By the thing, cannot declare an attack unless your opponent acts for the spell trap effect or monster effect this turn. Oh, <laughs> look at the sad spider! <laughs> look at the sad spider! <laughs> look at him! <laughs> look at the sad spider! <laughs> He's just hungry. <laughs> Let the poor spider have its snack. <laughs> uh. I can't attack. Sad face. <laughs> Poor thing. Uh... Okay, so once per turn during the battle step or damage step with this card's attack, when your opponent activates a card or effect, it's like one enchanted monster in the graveyard. Special summon that monster from the graveyard. Um, it's okay, so once per turn during your battle step or damage step of this card's attack. When your opponent activates a card or effect, during the damage step. So if he were to activate something during the damage step, like if I attack... This card has to attack, first and foremost. So this card attacks, and if he activates a card while he's attacking, during the damage step, then I can select a Nichiria monster from the graveyard to special summon it from the graveyard. Is that what I want to read right? So if he activates something like Mirror Force to activate during the damage step, Nail the Forbidden One. Nature Sunflower. This is Tribute this card. I wanted your monster to get your things. I took the 
Epic Monster. Just be aware the effect still works. If we get destroyed by a mirror force, yeah. It's a tuner. I mean, it's a tuner. It's the only thing that's good about it. It's a tuner. It's another tuner. Hmm. Yeah, I got plenty of tuners now. Hmm, I don't know. Stack Beetle is a bit rough. I mean, it's a 2200 attack monster. I guess its effect is nice when he activates a, a card that, like, Deactivates one of my cards. Uh, Nature Mosquito. While you can show another physical monster, your opponent cannot select this card as an attack target. Okay. Opponents who can take any of them, she would have taken from the battle and following face of Nature Monster control, accept this card. Your opponent takes any amount of damage you would have taken from battles involving a face of material monster in control, accept this card. So, this card needs to be in face of defense mode. But any other material monster will be fine, will be protected. Hmm. Okay, so that's one thing, yeah. Two plant tokens. Yeah, that's not gonna be helpful in this set. Two surgery, meh. Drop of darkness, also meh. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find ways to get rid of his uh, magic cards, so. I know Imperial Order is missing, so put that in the side deck. Uh, second Mirror Force is missing, so put that in there. Hmm. So back to the Cherry yeah, real quick. Just depends on this deck. Yeah. Against 500 attack. None of these monsters really would benefit that much from 500 attacks. I think that's a very useless card there, that trap card. Uh. Each phase of material monster control. Um. Geo Fufi, got two of those, yeah. Nature of Forest, do I care enough for that one? When your opponent puts some of the monsters, you can submit some one level three or lower the chariot monster from your deck. And that's if he actually has, you know, right geeky or dark hole, you know. This has a stupid gimmick. The Jerry Beetle has such a stupid gimmick. I can't believe it's super rare in this. I mean, it's from the Hidden Arsenal pack, but still, that's so stupid. Target so one plant type monster in the field, destroy the target, and if you do draw a card, that card's a plant type monster, reveal it and draw more card. 
So that's my draw option there. So I can't get rid of that. So, what did all these do? One counter, target one planet monster, gets 400 attack and defense till the end of his turn. Dragon's is always on the field, so if counter runs any planets, you can blow hit up. Ah! Ah! Yeah, okay, that's good to know! Okay, so... Two counters, target one card in the field, destroy it. Count three, target one plant that must be graveyard, special summon it. It's every time a face up plant monster on the field is destroyed. Hmm. I have a number of tuners at this point. I need to get my other synchros in here as well, which includes the Catastor. Um, right on that. Which includes Stardust. Um, do I have any more from this? I don't think so. How many world trees do I have? That's a good question. Just one. What about giant rat? Uh, I think I have just one. I mean, that is a way to get an earth monster, a 1500 or less attack out. Hmm. Yeah? Hmm. Being able to summon a monster has 1500 of attack regardless. I guess, yeah, it'll be a way to get uh, Nature to Cliff out there. This one has to be no summon, though. I think I only have one of him. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, let me put this one down here. I'm gonna save this here. Uh, what was the other one I was wanting to do? Dragoonity? I don't know if I have enough Dragoonity to work these in. I, mean, I have a bunch of rocks, blah blah blah. Gen X, ice barriers, worms. I, mean, I guess Dragoonity would help with uh, this deck. But these are all winged beasts. None of them are dragons. They're all wind. So, hmm. This is the only dragon Gratunity monster, actually. Every other one's a wing. No, you're a dragon. Okay, hold on. Gratunity, Phallix. I think I only have one of them. Yeah. And then Dragoonity Dark Spear. 
which I only have one of. There. Mm -hmm. So it's still not great. And the only one, the one that was moderate was one of them. I don't think I pulled it though. No, I didn't pull her. Yeah, she's not all that great, but no. Yeah, I didn't pull the one ice berry monster. That would have helped one of my other decks. But oh well. <clears throat> uh, in the meantime, though. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it goes to show that I really have not played these decks either, so I have no ideas. Mm. Mm. Stretch. Um, I need to make my side deck here, though. My side deck is not very grand at, the point, at this point. Uh, I don't know. I have faith in this one. I think I have faith in this one. It's not a whole lot of tuners here. Yeah, in fact, what? That's a level two that can go into raging, I guess. And this is a level 3 turner, so level 3 and level 4 can go at 7 or 8. Hmm. I mean, unless I can still use, um... Not diff, um... What was it? Shit, hold on. Topi? No, this one. No, this is just two more cards in the hands. To heal one field monster in your hand and shoot this card. Yeah, that's not really great. Miss Doji, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, that one is useless. Yes, but Soji, I was thinking of, because it sends this card from your hand to the graveyard. It's like one face up field monster you control. The selected monster is treated as a tuna monster. So, like, if I get him, he'd be a level 5 tuner. And then I just need a level 5 monster for this one. I think he's still level 10. Yeah, he's level 10. But there's a level 10 monster here. So that'd be still that would still be tough then. Two of them. So I think I'll just try that. Hmm.
I'm going to roll with the punches. Don't tell him I'm ready. I'm going to give this deck a try. That's a bit better. That still sounded sickly. <laughs> That's a. It did a little bit, yeah, but <laughs> that's because I uh, should have cleared my throat first. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Um, yeah, I just actually kind of got back myself, so convenient on the timing convenient. there. Convenient, yep. All right, so All let me right. stop the stream on my end save. and just say this. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Give us a second here. And as you do that, saved up, we are going to switch to the proper thing here. 